Hey guys, welcome to this segment I like to call Two Minute Breakdown. In this segment, I try to take complex ideas or concepts and break them down into their simplest form in two minutes. In this episode, we're going to take a look at CSS over HTML. Okay guys, today we're going to try to break down HTML and CSS in two minutes, so let's do it. HTML, or hypertext language, is a tagging mock-up language. All the contents within a tag is displayed according to the parameters of that tag. CSS, cascading style sheets, is how those tags appear. So for example, HTML is a Christmas tree, CSS is all the decorations on that Christmas tree. There are two ways in which you can incorporate a CSS within an HTML document. Number one, you could link it to an external document in a link tag, such as this. Or you can include it within a style tag within the HTML document itself. There are three basic ways in which you can assign a, a style to a tag. You could assign it globally to all tags of a certain kind. You could use classes or IDs. Let's take a quick look at all three. It's important to note that while elements can have multiple classes and classes can be assigned to multiple elements, IDs need to be unique. So an element's ID needs to be the only element with that ID in a given script. So here's a HTML document. Very simple. It has a header and two paragraphs. On top I have my style. So my paragraph style, which is a font of 18 and a color of blue, will be applied to both and all paragraphs within the document. Underneath the paragraph style, I have a class called underline. The period indicates the class and anything of this class will be underlined. Notice the two paragraphs both have class underlined, so they both are underlined. Next, I have an ID bold. This will apply to the element within the document that has an ID of bold, as does our second paragraph. Whoa! That's a whole lot of stuff in a very short period of time. I know, two minutes goes like that. In any case, there's a lot more to learn. I've included a couple of links in the description, one to a great book on the subject, and another to a great website where you can actually test your code right on the website, learn a lot, very simple, straightforward. So if you want to learn more, follow that. Don't hesitate to ask a question, comments, I'll respond, like what you like, subscribe if you haven't. See you next time.